Hello everyone, welcome to From the Star Wars Home Video Library. I'm your host, Nathan P. Butler. We sort of circle back here to some U.S. releases we've seen recently. Stuff tying into The Rise of Skywalker and The Skywalker Saga. But this is actually something that has been released after that. That has kind of filled in a gap, but at the same time really, really pissed a lot of people off. So, let's get right to it. In the U.S. on March 31st, you could have bought The Skywalker Saga boxed set from Best Buy, right? This set included, among its many, many discs, its 27 discs, three discs for The Last Jedi. The 4K disc had a new label on it that was essentially identical to what we had seen before. The Blu-ray disc took the previously digital-only, score-only audio version of the film and actually added that to the Blu-ray disc so it was reauthored and had a new label. Then the Blu-ray bonus disc had Meet the Porgs, which was previously a Target exclusive only, uh, added into that bonus disc, and then the bonus disc got a new label colored to match the rest of the set. But the only way in the U.S. on March 31st of 2020 to actually get the updated Last Jedi discs was in this set only. All the films that had never gotten a 4K release got something like this, a so-called Ultimate Collector's Edition that's not Ultimate or a Collector's Edition, as I always say, with a 4K disc, a Blu-ray copy, a Blu-ray bonus disc, and a digital copy with that black slip cover that made it match the releases that we got for the multi-screen edition of Blu-ray and digital uh, and the DVD-only version back in September 2019. But remember, the 2019, September, and then exclusives from October, November of 2019, those are the 2011 cuts on both Blu-ray and DVD. This was where you could get the 2019 Disney Plus McClunky edition cuts if you wanted to buy them individually rather than in the Skywalker Saga box set. It had to be the 4K release, which is where you got the updated Blu-ray Blu -ray bonus disc, and of course the digital code and everything else to go with it. But it was just the films that had never gotten a 4K release. In 2018, we had gotten a Last Jedi 4K release, a Ultimate Collector's Edition, right? So this already existed on the market, which meant that they didn't feel a need to replace this by putting out one of these that looked like this initially. And fans were kind of pissed because they didn't do it for Last Jedi. They didn't do it for Solo either because it meant we had two films that wouldn't match the other nine. Oh, Lordy, whatever shall we do? We were told, don't worry, uh, through digital bits, I believe. Don't worry. Disney has said they've got versions that look like this ready to go for Last Jedi and Solo. And later on, they'll be rolling those out to replace those earlier ones that don't match. Awesome. Meanwhile, at the beginning of April, we saw a lot of fans who wanted a matching set get frustrated with the it's coming soon but we have no idea when type of thing for Last Jedi and Solo and import Last Jedi and Solo from Australia, as I did. In that case, what we got was a 4K slash Blu-ray set, no digital copy, that had the updated 4K disc and both updated Blu-ray discs, okay? So in Australia, you didn't have to buy a big box set to get the updated Last Jedi disc to get that score-only version of the film and meet the Porgs. No slipcover, looks a little bit different with the Australian rating and everything else, but at least it was something to fill that gap while we waited for this to be replaced with something that looks like this. Then came the middle of May 2020. And you would have hoped that we would see something to fill those gaps on the American market soon, but we didn't expect it to actually happen that soon. So people were kind of going, wait, what's going on? Because of what we were starting to see on places like eBay. I'll get into that in just a moment. I managed to get myself a copy of this as soon as we started confirming it was showing up in Target stores. Uh, and presumably they're going to show up in other stores. Target happened to be the first ones that started to see it on shelves uh, across the country because a lot of folks started finding them around the same day in Targets. The U.S. now finally has a matching release. This is The Last Jedi in that black packaging. 4K Ultra HD, 4K Ultra HD plus Blu-ray plus digital code. Star Wars The Last Jedi with the image there, embossed of course. Ultimate Collector's Edition, whatever. The Movies Anywhere stuff down here. Ultra HD Blu-ray, Star Wars The Last Jedi. Product number and Lucasfilm. Same thing on the other side. A back very similar to what we saw out of uh, Australia. Got the Movies Anywhere thing up here, but then you've got the tagline, information about the film, information about the discs. Um, technical specifications, the various logos and whatnot, the legalese, the rating, 
and more information about digital copies down here. What initially made us a little wary of this though was that somebody spotted a couple of these on eBay. And one of the copies that was spotted on eBay showed the back. And if you look at that back, the window there, that image just does not match what's around it. You'd expect it to be kind of yellowish or something. So it gave us pause like, oh God, surely they didn't. Because prior to that, there was one other copy we had seen on eBay. And the other copy we had seen on eBay showed a slip cover that looked like this. But beside it showed a package that looked like this, the original version from 2018. And we were thinking, oh, maybe some fan has just put together a mock-up of a black case because they didn't want to wait for it. And they're putting it up on eBay to sell it, making people think that it's legit, perhaps. And then we saw the one with the not matching back. We're like, oh, two people doing the same thing? That's a little odd. But we'll wait till we see it in a store. Sure enough, we're able to finally start seeing these in stores. I picked mine up at the local Target. And what we get is this. Woosa. What we've got here is the original release, original packaging from 2018. So they didn't make the inner packaging match with any of these other releases like A New Hope. The inner packaging matches. Duh. It should. Or maybe they just put out one with no slip cover at all. Instead, we've got this inside this, which begs the question, oh my God, did they just take the thing for 2018 and put a new slip cover on it and put it out, even though there's already new discs for Last Jedi out there that should be in any new release? Please tell me they didn't do that. Please tell me that when fans were asking for something that looked like this for Last Jedi that had those new discs in it, that they weren't so effing tone deaf that they would just say, we'll just pack the same old discs in the same old packaging and just put a new slip cover on it and, and that'll be what they want, right? Because they want a matching set, right? Without even considering the whole thing of newly authored discs being part of what people wanted. Surely they weren't that idiotic and tone deaf. But of course they were. Of course they were. Yes. This is literally the discs from 2018. Logo on the bottom and everything, colored bottom, the red and black version of the 4K logo. Yeah, yeah. They had the effing nerve, they had the cajones to actually put out something like this to match these other releases with the old shit still inside when brand new release discs had already been produced for this set, which is what people were clamoring for in this packaging. Way to go, Walt Disney Studios Home Entertainment. Way to go. You've just managed to be moronic, what, twice in the span of a year in a big, big way. Um, I would say the other way was the fact that they waited to release these in March, but it already released Blu-ray slash digital versions and DVD versions that look like this in September 2019 that had previous cuts of the films that are confusing the living hell out of people because this 4K version and the Blu-ray and DVD versions that look like it don't have the same cuts of the films in it. That was bad enough. But now this? Put the old stuff into the new slipcover and pray that people think that it's updated? Wow, that's asinine. So, do we have an updated version of Last Jedi to match the packaging on our shelves? Yeah, technically. We have a slipcover that matches now. Do we have a way of actually in the U.S. without importing to buy the updated Last Jedi discs outside of the Skywalker Saga box set? No, we still do not. What do we hope? We hope that eventually these, with this underneath it, will eventually sell through so that they will actually start putting something inside this that matches with this and has the new discs. That maybe as their old stock runs out, we'll see new pressings with the updated discs in updated packaging inside the slipcover. 
But the fact that that wasn't their first approach to this slipcover is just going to make it more confusing to people and more asinine in the long run. I'm assuming they'll probably do this crap with Solo, but as we noted with that release from Australia for Solo, even when they got relabeled bonus discs, the bonus discs did not include any new content like the Target exclusive stuff for Solo. Uh, so it wouldn't be as big a deal. But we know there are discs already for Last Jedi that have new stuff on them. We know they've been reauthored. They're available on the market and had been for almost two full months when they pulled this crap on us. Wow. Just really... It, it, it feels like things like, like, like with the Clone Wars. I feel like, hey, remember? Remember Quinlan Boss? We love Quinlan Boss too. We know you want to see Quinlan Boss in this series, so check it out. Boom, Quinlan Boss in the Clone Wars. Oh wait, his characterization is completely different and you now hate him? Damn, but we thought you wanted Quinlan Boss. Wasn't that what you were asking for? You got the surface level. We wanted it to match. The deeper level, we wanted it to actually match content-wise. You can Completely effed up. Well done, Walt Disney Studios Home Entertainment. Well done. Whew. With that, we'll wrap up this episode. Thank you for watching. May the Force be with the home video viewers. Unless you were the home video viewer who came up with this. In which case, you know what? I'll have to cut it here.